Hello everyone. So Microsoft has officially announced Windows 11 version 25H2 with the release of Bill 26200.5670 in the dev channel. And there is a lot to like about this one. It is faster to install, easier to manage, and brings improvements without hassle, or at least as intention. Let me break it down to you. So first, what exactly is Windows 11 version 25H2? Well, it is the next big feature update for Windows 11 planned for release later this year. But don't worry, it is not a full-blown upgrade like jumping to a new OS. Here's the cool part. If you are already running version 24H2, the upgrade to version 25H2 will be super fast. And that's because Microsoft is using an enablement package. Basically, most of the new features are already on the computer on your device in the background. The update just flips the switch to activate them. No long installations, no system overhaul. 25H2 share the same core as version 24H2. What that means for you? Updates will be smaller, faster, and more consistent across devices. Security patches and future features can roll out to both versions at the same time. However, Microsoft will disable some of these features on version 24H2 if they were designed for version 25H2. Now, Microsoft hasn't detailed all the new features just yet, but this is how it works. They will be shipped through monthly updates and activated when 25H2 officially launches. So you might already have some of these new features on your device. They're just waiting to be unlocked. And yes, updating to 25H2 means a fresh support cycle. If you are on Windows 11 Pro or Home, you will get an additional 24 months support. If you are on Windows 11 Pro or Home, you will get 24 more months of updates. For education and enterprise users, it will be 36 months. So this update keeps your system secure and supported for a little longer. To sum up at all, Windows 11 25H2 is the kind of update that we want to see. It is fast, efficient, and it helps to extend the life of your system while reducing the number of issues as we had seen on other feature updates. Now, Microsoft have not shared the exact release date, but if we follow the trend of previous releases, we can expect the company to officially release version 25H2 sometime in October, and even earlier if you use the Windows Insider program and you enroll your computer in the release preview channel close to the final release. Currently, bills that belong to version 25H2 are released in the dev channel. If you want to stay ahead and get the features as soon as they dropped, make sure that you're on version 24H2 and up to date with Windows updates. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about Microsoft already working on version 25H2. Let me know the type of features that you want to see in this new version. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.